Good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. Let me just go ahead and give a quick shout out to the Wi-Fi yesterday that worked the entire time of my very amped up live. Also, if you're watching this and you're anywhere near me, doTERRA is coming to Gainesville tonight, Thursday. Do not miss it. But that is not what we're talking about today. Today, actually, what has been impressed upon my heart, my space, is actually leadership. Leadership. Now, I absolutely believe that if you are drawn and attracted to most anything that I have to say, it is because you are a leader in your own right. What do I mean by that? It means that you have a sphere of influence in some capacity, and you are looking to impact that sphere for the better. Okay. So, um, it was, it was a year, two, three, I don't even know how long ago. And I remember just getting really clear on like, what is it that just fires me up, excites me. And it was inspired impact, which actually turned into my handle on IG. But here's the point. We all have a, a point of impact, an, an amount of impact, a degree of impact. And you can choose to have an impact for the better or an impact for not so good, which is often called damage. And so when it comes to leadership and it comes to being a leader, embrace these qualities. Don't be in competition. For example, if I am leading a group or I'm leading um, a team, I'm leading whatever it may be. I'm never looking at those people I'm leading in competition with them. I'm not looking to outshine them, which is funny. We talked about shining brighter yesterday. I'm not looking to outshine them. I'm not looking to um, just be somebody. I'm looking to say, how is it that leading a team, looking into individuals, speaking into lives, allow for them to rise up to be their full potential, complementing the aspects of the team, right? So I, I have a couple different teams in the different areas or, you know, varies of my life. And there's so often I will say, listen, I am amazing at this. You are amazing at this. I am not amazing at that, right? Here's my strengths. Here's your strengths. You work together and a, a leader, listen to me, a leader should not be threatened by their team. A leader should know that as they lead their team, they are not only speaking life into those who are on their team, but they want their team to actually walk in their strengths, walk in what they are incredible at, and strengthen the team because of who they are and what they bring to it. So for example, if you think of, let's just go for, um, let's go for a sports team, right? If you are the owner, the owner of a team, see the Rays were cool yesterday and today they're driving me crazy. Good morning, Diana. Um, if you are the owner of some sports team, you actually aren't entirely interested in your name being known. You just need that team to succeed. You need that brand of the team to be known. You want them to win. You want them to win the games because that is better for you as the owner of the team. It's not about your name being known. In fact, I don't even know. Of course, I don't really follow sports. Let's just give a real disclaimer here. But I'm just saying, like, how many owners do you really know? Or is it that everybody is wearing the team? Everybody is wearing the brand. Everybody is excited to cheer for who the team is. And so in the capacity and in the space of being a leader, and again, you might not see yourself as a big leader, but think about this. If you are a parent, especially of some who are still in your home, your leadership to those littles, oh, like, oh my goodness. Like I even think about my parents and oftentimes I joke with my parents. I'm like, can you raise my children? Because I don't know what my parents did. I really don't. They should, they should coach me every day. But my brother and I are both entrepreneurs. We both make our own money. We both fund our entire lives. We both are very 
confident in who we are and secure in our strengths and yet don't apologize for our weaknesses. We know what we want. We go after what we want. We aren't looking for any handouts. Like, and I, this is me singing the praise of my parents. Like somebody go ahead and tag my parents or go ahead and give them a thank you in the comments. And I'm giving them a shout out because it's making me reflect as a parent of four smalls that I want them to grow up. I want my ceiling to be their floor. I want them to embrace who they are, not because they have to be somebody specific, but because they need to be who they were created to be. And so as you recognize the leader that you are, and I'm telling you, you would not be watching this if you did not have some sort of leader capacity in you. You just wouldn't be drawn. You wouldn't be drawn to this live. You wouldn't have any interest in listening to what I say unless you are a person who truly wants to lead or has leadership capacity and capabilities inside of you. Okay. So as a leader, there is get rid of the competition. I'm telling you the leaders who are feeling competitive are insecure. Now I'm not talking about, they don't want to be the best of the best in their market. That is not what I'm talking about. A leader absolutely wants to show up and be the best of the best in their market and in their space. They absolutely want to exude excellence, but a leader is not in competition with their team ever, ever, because a leader of a team is somebody, if they are doing it well, they look around the table and they think, how can each individual do what they do best to make this machine run so that we, whoever we're servicing, we show up in a space to do it well. We show up in a space to answer and solve the problem. That's all it is. Y'all, that is all it is. If you want to be successful, ask what problem you can solve. Ask what problem you can solve. Because there are problems all over. And did you know, in the Bible, it talks about God will give his people witty inventions. He will absolutely give you wealth because of the witty inventions that he gives you that he gives you, and it's your job to walk that out with his leadership. So a leader of a team is never in competition with those they are leading. They are always looking, how can I serve you? How can I speak into you? How can I encourage you? How can I coach you? Which sometimes means a hard line now and again, but in love. A leader is not in competition with those around the table in the meeting and on the team. A leader looks into each individual, truly listens, truly listens. Listen, you know the people who they're in just conversations with you because they're ready to like tell you what they got to say. But a leader listens, a leader speaks direct, a leader gives clear direction listen, you are a leader in your sphere of influence. It could be uh, a couple people in your life that you lead that look up to you. It could be somebody uh, in your, ho your house, right? We already talked about parenting. It could be in the workforce, okay? Even if you aren't the boss man, even if you aren't the boss chick, you are leading in some capacity. And if you don't feel like you are, pray and ask how you should be leading. Maybe it's that you're going to come alongside a leader and you're going to be an intercessor for them. But I truly believe, I truly believe that each individual, especially those who are listening to this, I'm telling you, ain't no followers going to be interested in this if they aren't leading in some sort of small capacity. And small doesn't mean minute. It doesn't mean insignificant. Okay. It just means maybe you're not leading thousands, thousands, right? The masses. I said thousands, like thousands and masses put together. <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to get on here. I feel like leadership is vital. I feel like we should answer the call to leadership. And I feel like we shouldn't diminish what our role is if we don't feel like we're leading in a grand capacity or stage. Again, it's not about being known. It's about knowing what to do with what you've been given and rising up to the call and the challenge of that specific thing. I can't wait to hear from you about how you feel like you are walking out leadership. Don't compete with those you lead.
Instead, encourage and speak directly into them and watch that team, whether it's an official team or not, watch them come alive. God bless you.